So this abandoned mine tunnel, I'm just inside the entrance, about 100 feet. And I explored this already a couple years ago, but I just stayed on the main level here. It goes back a 100 feet or so, a couple hundred feet. What I missed was all the upper workings that are up this incline passageway. So today I'm going to check this stuff out. And if you want to see what's on this main level, check out that older video from a couple years ago. There'll be a slide out card in the upper right hand corner with a link to that video that shows what's down this tunnel. It goes kind of far from what I can remember, but there are a lot of workings up here that are even more extensive. So let's go up here and check it out. So down there is the main level that I explored a couple years ago that's in the other video. So we just climbed up into this inclined area and we have a level up here, it looks like, right there. And then further up, you can see more support timbers. We're gonna head up all up through there and there's a retaining wall up there where my light is. So yeah, these timbers aren't uh, are in pretty good shape. They're not crushing down or, you know, or kind of splintering into a bunch of fragments. They're still pretty solid. So this looks pretty, uh, doable. And here's some chicken wire. Okay, we're headed up that way. Um, can't quite see it from this angle, but there's a retaining wall up there that we're going to um, get to. And that's where we can probably go left or right down an extensive drift tunnel. Here's looking behind us, down into the stope. This is about a, just a little more than 45 degree angle, not much, but uh, it's kind of steep, but we're making our way up it. These support timbers have been here forever, so pretty cool to see those. They're doing their job. So we just came up through that hole at the top of the stope. It's on the same incline as what the stope was, and then we're up here in this uh, drift level. This is the first drift level that's that's above the main level that I was in a couple years ago. So we're going to head down this way and see where this goes, and then we'll we'll turn around and go down this way. This curves off to the right. So we're continuing down the drift tunnel. Uh, you can see down into the stope here, off to the right. That's the same stope we just came up through. And then here on the left, it goes up into the uh, an upper stope. It's about on the same angle. That's kind of steep. And then uh, we'll keep going down this way. So here's a retaining wall on the left-hand side of this tunnel, holding back a lot of debris. And look how these timbers these support timbers are buckling. The one back there, those are okay, but not that one. So we'll keep going down here. Jeff's already gone ahead here. Big collapse. Okay, we just came up from down there. A lot of big boulders and collapse. So check this out. These timbers here right in front of us, that's bent at a 90 degree angle. Uh, you can see it was, there's the wedges at the top and then uh, there's where it's it got shifted. Same thing with this one here. It kind of broke to the right. So we think this whole slab above us, what the miners call the back, the ceiling, Either it was an earthquake or something shifted seismically to the right and caused that to deform that way. So, and even the timbers further up here behind us are also kind of shifted to the right. Like up in there. Yeah, that one is. And So something caused that. I and mean, we're thinking a, a major earthquake. We're, we are in an earthquake area, so they've had big ones up here. So coming down here, we found this. California Cap Company tin, blasting caps tin. Uh, the lid's in good shape, 
good shape, but the, the can's been smashed. But look what's inside here. It's got the original, I don't know if that is a um, identification ticket. So, never saw one of those before. But uh, and it's got a pink interior. But, yeah. California Cap Company. That's really cool. Okay, we're headed down to the other the other drift tunnel that went off in the opposite direction. Look at that uh, overhead there, what the miners call the back. So it's kind of smooth. So here is the uh, the hole we came up showed you that earlier and we're going to continue down this way that's a very small stope just goes right up there and stops that's a very large stope it goes up there and keeps going Here's more of this stope off to the left. So this is looking down into this stope and uh, kind of unusual, there's a tunnel here that goes in that way, perpendicular to the tunnel we're in, and it's above the stope, see that? So we're gonna go, go down, we're gonna go down there and try to climb up there and see if we can get, get in that tunnel. If not, we'll We'll keep going that way. So it's kind of a, a big a big leap here to get up into this tunnel. So we're stacking up some uh, debris here to act as a boost. We think it just dead ends uh, down there, but we're not sure. So Jeff's gonna check it out. There he is. Oh man, that was so easy. And there he goes. Check that out. We think it just faces out down there, but got to check out all the nooks and crannies because you never know. Could be an ore cart up there, or a pair of Levi's, <laughs> or a glass bottle, or a mountain lion hibernating. Okay, Jeff's coming back. He said that tunnel just faces out down there at the end, so. But here he comes. So we're gonna head over that way and continue through the stope. Okay, we just came through that. And check this out. This is looking down into the stope. It really opens up here. Look at that ceiling, or what the miners would call the back. And then you can see all the support timbers, the stalls down there. And we're going to continue, I guess, right down this tunnel at the very, uh, well, on this level of the stope. Yeah. That's where we're headed. But yeah, it's a good shot looking down in there. It's pretty cool. Huh. There's a metal... Um, let me zoom into that. Right there, the center of the frame is some kind of metal. It looks like a light blue or a light gray colored something, a metal box. So Jeff's going to check out that metal box or whatever that is. Maybe it's an old explosives box. I don't know. They might have stored blasting caps in that or something. It's probably not an ore cart. So here is a massive retaining wall holding back tons and tons of rubble. And you can see off to my left, this is looking down into the stope. That goes down there pretty steeply. 
and uh, yeah, this is one of those mines where they just dug big underground stopes and uh, had uh, drift levels that went through the stopes, perpendicular, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, but yeah, check out that wall. That's amazing. That's one of the biggest retaining walls I think I've ever seen. Of course, they put the braces here for extra support. And uh, right there is a uh, example of the room and pillar method of mining. They do that even in stopes. They leave a pillar of rock there for support. Looks like there's a pillar down there where my light is, another pillar. So probably one right right there. So, yeah, pretty amazing. Look at all the wedges they had to put up there to fill the gap. But yeah, you wouldn't want to slip here because this is kind of steep and this ground is real slippery. It's not a lot of traction on this. But that's pretty amazing.